Hello, good day, and welcome to Alena Media TV Editorial. I am Victoria, broadcasting from Canada, and these are the top stories. Guterres welcome to a humanitarian ceasefire agreement. Legendary Ethiopian airline CEO Terwood Gabri Mariam quit after 37 years. UN General Assembly overwhelmingly approves resolution demanding protection of civilians in Ukraine. Bringing you this in detail after the short break, stay tuned. Hello and welcome back from that short break. Now news in detail, the conflict in Ethiopia has caused terrible suffering for millions of people across Alpha and Hara Tigre. Benishan Gugums and Oromia said UN spokesperson Stephanie Girard in a statement issued on behalf of Secretary General Antonio Guterres. This positive development must now translate into immediate improvement on the ground. The statement continued. Conflict erupted in Tigre in November 2020 between federal troops and forces loyal to the Tigre People Liberation Front. The war spied over into the neighboring regions of Amhara and Alpha, killing thousands of civilians and displacing millions across northern Ethiopia and into neighboring Sudan. All parties to the conflict are responsible for multiple grave rights abuses, according to UN Human Rights Chief Michel Bachelet. The northern region has not received any aid deliveries by Russia since last December due to the ongoing fighting. The Ethiopian government declared the sensation of hostility on Thursday, saying that was to allow aid to reach striking civilians. Hours later, Tigrin authorities issued a statement saying that they would do everything possible to make the humanitarian ceasefire a success. Many aid activities remain reduced or suspended in Tigray. UN humanitarians reported last week when fewer than 7,000 people received food assistance, an extremely small fraction of a 70,000 who you and colleagues are trying to help reach each week. Humanitarian partners want that less than 10% of the required quantity of seeds have managed to make their way through before the start of the planting section, which is only a month away. Some medical and nutritional supplies have continued to be flown into Tigrin capital, Mikhail, in recent months, and in neighboring Alpha, an estimated 200,000 men, women, and children displaced by the fighting. Remaining areas that the UN and partners cannot reduce to ongoing insecurity issues. In accessible part of Alpha, more than 112,000 people have received food assistance since late February, the UN reported this week. Some medical and nutrition supplies have continued to be flown into Tegwin capital. In accessible part of Alpha, more than 1,200 people have received food assistance since late February, the UN reported last week. Moving on to the next story, legendary Ethiopian Airlines CEO Tewood Gabri Mariam quit after 37 years. The long seven CEO of African largest airline Ethiopia Airlines has stepped down citing ill health. Starting at the firm in 1985, he became CEO in 2011. He leaves behind a strong legacy, the envy of other African airlines who struggle to match Ethiopian operational efficiency. Ethiopian Airlines CEO Terwood Gabri Mariam at the African CEO Forum 2019, where the airline won the African Champion Award Rotes Jen Basen. The long serving CEO of African largest airline Ethiopia has stepped down citing ill health less than 24 hours after the announcement of the resignation of Terwood Gabri Mariam, the CEO of Askai Airline in Togo. Masfin Tassel has been appointed to take over as head of Ethiopian Airlines. His appointment on 24th March follows the resignation of Terwood Gabri Mariam, who took early retirement on March 23rd for health reasons. Tassel will be responsible for the continent's leading airline with 130 aircraft covering 120 destinations worldwide. Tawad Gabri Mariam is a towering figure of African aviation, dragging Ethiopian Airlines through a profound company profitable in comparison to many continental peers. Moving on to the last story, UN General Assembly overwhelmingly approved resolution demanding protection of civilians in Ukraine.
The UN General Assembly has adopted a Noblin resolution demanding the protection of civilians and civilian infrastructure in Ukraine and an immediate heart to the war. The resolution approved on March 24th at UN headquarters in New York was favored by 140 countries in the 193 member assembly, four countries Syria, Belarus, North Korea, and Eritrea joined Russia in voting against while 38 countries abstained. The resolution demands an immediate cessation of the hostility by the Russian Federation against Ukraine, in particular of any attack against civilians and civilian objects. It also demands the protection of civilians, medical, personal aid workers and journalists. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has blasted Russia's absurd war, which has killed thousands of people, destroyed countless homes, buildings and infrastructure and created millions of refugees. General Assembly resolution and non-Biden, but they carry political weight. There was a round of applause in Assembly after the resolution was adopted. The vote was the second time the 193 member General Assembly has overwhelmingly isolated Russia. A similar non Biden resolution on March 2nd demanded Moscow immediately cease its use of force. That resolution was backed by 141 countries. U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. Linda Thomas Bainfield described the vote on March 24th as an outstanding success, telling reporters there is really no difference between 141 and 140. She said the latest resolution built on the mass second vote and appealed to the one person with the ability to stop the violence and that Vladimir Putin, the resolution criticized Russia for creating a dark humanitarian situation after Moscow invaded its neighbor one month ago in what is called special military operation to destroy Ukraine military infrastructure. Ukraine Western allies have accused Moscow of attacking civilians indiscriminately and targeting facilities such as hospitals, buildings used as shelters. Moscow denies attacking civilians. Ukraine put forward a new resolution on March 23rd. The test was originally prepared by France and Mexico at an emergency section of the General Assembly. A competing test by South Africa, which did not mention Russia by name, received only 50 votes and was therefore not adopted. Russia had appealed for countries to support that test, arguing that the resolution drafted by Ukraine and allies had been politicized. This is where I end the editorial on Alena Media TV. I am Victoria and thanks for watching.